now you locked up in the corner like, do I make a diss song or not? Because if you make a diss song, and it's, it's like you really just put yourself in a meat meal position on some Drake shit. Like nobody expects for, and you cast the first stone just like Meek did. Nobody expects for nobody, and he really bombed. This nigga bombed. He really retaliated the same way Drake did. You born first, fuck it. This song, let go. What's happening? Because he has nothing to lose, just like Drake had nothing to lose. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by A.O. Conseco. Oh, really? Crazy, oh yeah, man. Um, welcome back to the Rap Trap. I am Al Canseco, fearless leader of AO Nation and the Men Two Movement. Everybody in the Men Two Movement, I'm sure you know what the fuck to do. Go to the GoFundMe, handle business. Go to the uh, Change.org petition. Uh, by August, I want ten thousand signatures. Let's get to work. Um, this is in hindsight. Um, and what what do we want to do? You know what I'm saying? What do we want to do? This is, there is no better example of how hindsight is 2020 than this situation in itself. This, with, with, and that's, we can learn so much from this shit. Like, we gotta break this shit. Alright, so, the Nipsey shit happened. Um, the whole internet go crazy. Of course, you're gonna have the niggas who, Want to, you know what I'm saying? They can't go with the wave because going with the wave, you're going to blend in. So they go against the wave so they can be seen and shit like that. Of course, you get niggas talking about, oh, I'm the one who killed Nipsey and shit like that. Just to be looked at for a couple fucking seconds. Um, and usually it's going to be rappers because rappers are the one who are, I'm trying to get attention. Nobody's seeing me. Nobody watching my freestyle. Nobody give a fuck about my YouTube. Nobody give a fuck about my mixtape. So, of course, the rappers are going to be extremely, the underground rappers are going to be extremely vocal. And they're going to say shit that will just be, um, what is it, like shock jocking. Like, I just want somebody to see this shit. Just look at me. No one ever looks at me. I'm going to use this situation for people to look at me and shit like that. And those are the type of people you have speaking during these type of times. But if you look at it, the people who are already, you know what I'm saying, established, they give they RIP, whatever like that, they back the fuck up off of it. Even if they were close to the situation, they had nothing to speak about. You know what I'm saying? Because you, it's understood that when shit like this happened, it's going to be a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Just everybody's going to have a field day. There's no reason for you to even throw in with these people. If you fuck with Nipsey and if you're close enough to him, Go pay your respects. It's the internet. There is no beating the internet. I, I made a post on Facebook. I said, who would win out of a fight between the internet and the streets? Both of them are undefeated. You know what I'm saying? So for T.I. to check Kodak, it just, you put like, you don't, for you, an activist, your position is so fucking that, that position that you're in is so, it's such a vulnerable position. You're the, you're the, the, the old rapper. You're the old rapper. Shout out to K2. Shout out to Black Boy. Can't put this over there. Um, 
you're the you're the the rapper. You've had a check of pass. Your name has been brought up in certain things. You then did the reality TV shit. You then did uh, your your job for the police when they they got you and shit like that. It, it's been questionable shit, just like with anyone else's career. Um, and you've changed and shit like that. Now you're vocal about righteous shit, whatever like that. I cannot say that. I, I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not against you with the Gucci shit, whatever like that. But now that you're in this seat, standing next to people like Tariq Nasheed, David Banner, people that are for black righteousness, you're doing the right thing. You're standing for black righteousness and shit like that. You really have to, if, if you, if you're an activist and you're going to step back into that gangster mode after becoming a fucking I don't understand why the fuck these, how did these motherfuckers get in here? Them fucking fruit flies. Ever since I got on this fucking fruit diet, you can't even throw shit in the garbage can. You gotta throw this shit outside and shit. But if you jump back into that gangster bag after you've been deemed an activist on the pro black shit, the only people you can get gangster with is people that are of another race, really. That's the only thing that we'll understand. That's the only thing that we'll 100% back. You already know when you're doing the, the right thing, you're not going to have that much backing anyway. Honestly, you'll get more backing doing the wrong, as you can obviously see. You'll get more backing in the black community doing the Kodak shit than you would doing the Nipsey shit. You'll get more backing doing the future shit than you will doing the T.I. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even get niggas to stop wearing Gucci, but you can get niggas to pop pills all day. This is just what it is. And, and at this point in time, in your career, we really expect for you to know this shit already. You don't, you don't sully your name by going in the depths and checking internet people. Like, it, it's not, if, and if you do, if you do, and we've had a, a rash of this shit, kind of, like with the, the, the Jay Prince situation, like you don't use the internet against the internet. You know what I'm saying? You, if you are a, a, a OG and shit like that, you have to use them landlines. You have to use that. Like you can't use the phone how they use the phone. You got to use the phone to talk, not to type, not to record. Hey, Kodak, hey, man, look, um, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy because now when you try to use the internet against the internet, you look like an internet nigga. And now you in that box. So now we just, it's like Hollywood Squares. We, now we just can look at you and just point out all the fucking deficiencies and, and everything wrong with you. And when you get in this box with someone who is not supposed to be intelligent, if you do it like J. Cole, you know what I'm saying, whatever like that, like, hey. But in a situation like this, it's too publicized. It's too publicized. And even J. Cole, he didn't do it. You don't do that shit publicly. You know about young, you know what, you understand a young nigga's pride, he's going to die for it. Because you were the same way. I don't know what you do for your respect, but I'm going to die for mine. You should understand this. And we, we, we can't expect anything more out of you. But to know what young street niggas feel like because you were that. That's where you come from. That's why we give you this platform. The same thing with Nipsey. Like, gangsters don't respect politicians. They respect gangsters. So, the method of which you tried to resolve an issue was retarded as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it looks like, uh, like, it, cause it, it, there's no other way to look at it, but to look at it like, hey, my nigga, hey, you need to take that shit down expeditionally, nigga. How in the fuck, like, you, you don't, you give a nigga no, like, a nigga can't even take it down if he wants to, because this is the rap trap. This is the rap trap. Everybody looking. I know, shit, goddamn, that nigga goddamn just, shit. Well, T.I. just told goddamn shit, boy, you better... You know, T.I., you know you got them good. And to a gangster, hearing about another gangster, that shit, just, that shit supposed to make your dick hard. Like, nigga, I'm about that war shit, too. What you talking about? I got the same guns he got. Got the same niggas he got. More niggas for real, for real, nigga. If you really want to be serious with it, nigga. 
fuck that nigga mean? And I, cause this is what my whole career was built on. My whole career was built on being that just retarded head first nigga. Can't back down from nobody, period. Give a fuck what the situation is. Especially, to be honest with you, especially when I really ain't, you know what I'm saying? It'd be something else if it was, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Something to where we all look at Kodak like, my nigga, you tripping. And in that case, you wouldn't even have to do it because the internet would do it. Nobody would be on his side and shit like that. But for you to be the nigga who, I'm just so close to Nipsey and I just feel so strongly because I guess you thought that the celebrities and all the powerful people will be with you. But honestly, that's not who really, that's not who really run the internet. And this, this is a real delicate situation. Like, all the parties involved that spoke against Kodak shouldn't have, shouldn't have, like, you, you got too much dirt on you because you've done the same, like, with, with game and then with, with you speaking up, like, you too big of a fucking target. And then, bottom line, he didn't really say shit that was wrong. If I don't know a nigga, I'm, I'm on that. Like, this motherfucker fine as fuck. Shit, not, not, nothing really disrespectful. So now it just really looked like you trying to bully me and I can't allow nobody to do that because if I do that, then my career is over. I can't sell no records. You have the same, like, kind of like you. Like, niggas don't want to hear your your new mixtapes, your new projects. Niggas don't want to hear that shit like, no, like nigga. Niggas want to hear that gangster, gangster, rah, rah shit. That's what sells. And until we change that, until we get a new platform here, that's what the fuck is going to be. Boosted just sold 300 fucking copies. Nigga, it's serious out this motherfucker. Uh, what the little homeboy name is? Quando Rondo, like, he made a statement. Like, nigga, shit, if they want to hear about killing and death, that's what I'm finna talk about. Whether I did that shit or not. I, sh I, I, I was supposed to put that video up, whatever like that, but it was just too, like, it explained itself. Dog. But now let's talk about what's going on. The nigga make a diss record about you. This that David and Goliath shit. Like, in this situation, Kodak looked like the people's champ. And you look like the big nigga up top, just uppity ass nigga. You in a pool. That, that killed your shit too. After this nigga said, what's up? After you make your post like, hey, take it down expeditionally. That nigga say, fuck that nigga. What's up? I'm in Georgia right now. What's going on? You... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm in the pool just chilling. My nigga, you started this shit. You started this shit. So now, and, and then whatever the fuck you say back, whatever like that, now this nigga done dropped the diss song, and he the fucking people chat. This shit number one on trend. This shit trending number one. This shit number one on the trend and shit. And the shit rock. And you, you have no arms here, because this is, now this is really the rap trap. This nigga put out a song with him like that, but in the rap game, if you fucking respond to Lil Kodak, it's the, this is the same situation as Drake and Meek Mill. It's the same shit. If you come back and that shit ain't just, oh, that's, nigga, you the king of the south. This nigga, this, this, now this shit done turned into a whole situation. Now it's a whole situation. Now your whole crown is in goddamn question. Nigga. Cause this nigga, he didn't come with no, yeah, yeah, this nigga really was rapping. This nigga was really rapping and he disrespected you on a lot of levels and he's really rapping in the shit. You can ride to this shit. This, oh shit. This like some, some Gucci, uh, G's, the, the truth shit. You can ride to this shit. Like this shit is heavy. So it's putting you in a position where you have to respond, but you really, you can't respond because what the fuck does T.I. look like beefing with fucking Kodak. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why you don't get into arguments with idiots, because from a distance, no one can tell the difference. You know what I'm saying? So, for you to even, you just really forgot your 48 laws of power and the art of war, like you just, and this, this whole thing, in hindsight, this whole thing could have been avoided if you just would have used the phone like a real OG should. Let me call and see what's going on. I'm not using the internet like these little niggas. I use the internet like a real, like, hey man, look what's going on with that.
you could have you could have handled it however you wanted to handle it. Nobody would have known about it. The video would have came down. We keep on pushing. But now you're in a real situation where you have to defend yourself. This shit has to go up. He disrespected your wife. Called out that shit about the, you know, TV and shit like that. And, and, and helping the police and all this good shit like this. So you just really got, you just getting aired out for no reason. And, and you might have some people on your side like, yeah, you did the right thing. You spoke up and all this shit like this. But those people ain't going to be as vocal as the internet is. They're not going to be that positivity on the internet. This is what everyone sees. On the platform in which everyone gauges your success by, which is the internet, you're not going to have enough people to stand for you because the people who stand for you, they don't use the internet. These are the upstanding people. They don't get on the internet and say, oh, T.I. No, they going to, like, everybody, it's Kodak, Kodak, Kodak. That's why you should have never gotten this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't assess your artillery before you came in this shit. Like, you just, fuck this shit, I'm a bomb. No, you probably smarter than that. So, the song rock, he fucking the shit up. Now you locked up in the corner like, do I make a diss song or not? Because if you make a diss song, and it's, it's like you really just put yourself in a meek meal position on some Drake shit. Like nobody expects for, and you cast the first stone just like Meek did. Nobody expects for nobody, and he really bombed. This nigga bombed. He really retaliated the same way Drake did. You bombed first, fuck it, diss song, let go. What's happening? Because he has nothing to lose, just like Drake had nothing to lose. I'm an R&B singer. Like, what the fuck? I, this nigga's a real battle rapper. What the fuck I got to lose? If if I if he kills it, then he kill it. I'm back to what I'm doing. If the fuck Kodak never came in like I'm a just lyrical G, and we don't look at him like that. Regardless of how you feel about Tupac and all that other shit he talking about, we don't look at him like no fucking lyricist. But you, this is how you became the king of the South. You stand up with Joel Santana and Wayne and shit like that as a lyricist. And now it's like, I think that just hearing it, Kodak Black versus T.I., it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound like, why the fuck would you be doing it? But honestly, if T.I. come out with some just, but then what? You come out with some hard ass shit, whatever like that. Now it's some rap beef, but now you putting yourself in, in the pot with all this shit, whatever like that. So now niggas trying to see, so did you mean that shit you said in the song? Because you're going to have to say some gangster shit and you can't say no positive, like you can't say no positive shit and beat them. It's going to have to be gangster gangster. So you really going to have to transform back to tip, like the urban legend tip. And really, you know what I'm saying, do it. Some ASAP shit. And you're going to have to, you know what I'm saying, stand on that shit. And it is, it is, it is, like, for this to turn out to be some, now you beefing with this little nigga and shit like that to the point where, because Kodak going to fight. That's another thing, too. Like, if y'all get around each other, Kodak going to fight. He going to do it. Like, he going to fight. So now you put yourself in a situation where this nigga... Now you fighting, you no, know, they go from beefing on, on rap and rapping against each other. Now you fighting with Lil Kodak. It is all fucked up. It's just all, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a lose-lose. And they, but it's a win-win for him, whatever. Because he feel, oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, what up? Hey, what It's up for them. They ready to go. And so it just retarded. Like, see, you don't play with kids and shit like that. Don't, don't, you don't play with folk kids. And this, let's, like, this is why you stay away from folk kids. I don't, I ain't with that shit, man. Fuck that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You said some retarded shit. That's you. Do what the fuck you do. Whatever happened to you from whatever, man, come on, man. Because I'm not, because you knew that. You weren't finna do shit. That won't, you, when you tell somebody to do something expeditiously, that means do it before I do something to you. It's, it's. It's insinuated that if you don't do it, I'm going to do something to you. And that's not what the fuck you meant. And I niggas like, do something then. What's up? You gave me an ultimatum. I'm saying, no, what's up? What we doing? 
And you like, man, I ain't even known that shit, bro. I ain't even known that shit, bro. You better, you better back up, bro. You better back up, bro. Nobody respect that shit, dog. And you should know this shit. So I mean, it just, it just all bad for you. My advice right here. Just don't say nothing. Ride down the road. You know what I'm saying? Just don't say. I, it's hard as fuck though because the whole world is, is saying that you lost and all this shit like this. Just let this shit die and just walk. You know what I'm saying? Just, just another L on your record, whatever like that. Just walk the shit off. Don't say nothing. Don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And just let this shit play out how it play out. Honestly though, on my prediction shit, I'm going to say that something is going to happen to Cody. I don't know if it's gonna be an arrest or it's gonna be like a shooting or some shit like that, but mark my words, something is about to happen to Cody. I just, I really had that feeling, and I'm, I'm really, I, I, I got a feeling that something's about to happen to Cody, though. Real shit. So just watch out for that shit. Look, this been a wrap, trap, Ayo Conseco. Make sure you hit the PayPal. I see you on the minute. Love.